Hey my glam girls, welcome back to my channel. It's Chelsea where we talk about all things glam and all things girly. So today we're doing a little recreation of Meghan Markle's look when she interviewed with Oprah Winfrey this past Sunday. And Meghan Markle has been one of those people that I was like fully made aware of when she was about to marry Prince Harry. And ever since then, I've had like a low key obsession with her. So back when they were planning their wedding and there were tons of articles out about her and her favorites, I had started picking up some of her favorite makeup products. And so with this interview and kind of the resurfacing of her in the media, I was like, I wanna know what makeup she's gonna wear. I have no comment on the things that were said in the interview. I That has nothing to do with me. I am here for the makeup. So as soon as she came on, I was like, she just looks like a breath of fresh air. And the whole time I was watching the interview, I was like, what is she wearing? And could it be that? And could it be this? So I definitely asked you all if this would be something that you would be interested in seeing. And you all said yes. And <laughs> in almost every video I upload, I get at least one comment saying, you look like Meghan Markle. I don't see it, but I take it as a compliment because I think she's beautiful. So that's what we're doing today. We are recreating the look that she wore when she interviewed with Oprah. And I'm also going to be discussing and showing you some of her favorite products based on articles and websites that I've read just over the past few years. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I hope that you will consider subscribing and joining the Glam Girl Squad. And of course, if you are one of my returning subscribers, thank you so much for supporting and let's just get right into this video. So we're starting off with a bare face. The only thing that I put on before was I used the Il Maquillage No Filter Poreless Base Smoothing Primer to just conceal my pores. And then we went on with foundation. So based on what Meghan Markle likes, if she's not actually filming or if she's not going out for an event, she usually does not wear any type of foundation at all. But if she is going to wear foundation, one of her favorite foundations to wear is going to be the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This is a cult classic and I totally understand why she loves it. So I wear the shade 8.75 and I just put on the tiniest amount of foundation because her face looked like she barely had anything on her face. She might not even have worn this foundation. She could have easily worn just a tinted moisturizer. She had a very fresh face and a very fresh base. So I took two pumps because not too much comes out in two pumps. And I just blended that all over the face. And I definitely tried to keep less foundation where my freckles are because she has freckles and her freckles were prevalent in the interview. Then I went in with another product that is her favorite, the YSL Touche Eclat Radiant Touch Concealer. I wear the shade five and I just applied a little bit under the eye and in my T-zone area. If you've, you've been around for any length of time, I love this concealer. I actually picked this concealer up because last year I had plans to recreate a Meghan Markle look. So I picked up this concealer pen to use in that video and I just never got around to doing it. And so I decided to just start using it and I literally love this concealer. It's lightweight. It doesn't offer a ton of coverage and that's one of the main reasons why she likes it as well. It's not a high coverage concealer pen, but it does brighten the area that you do place it and it does add some radiance to the face. I like it for the same reasons of brightening the under eye area. The shade five also has a peach undertone so it does help to just further brighten that area and I think it just looks beautiful on the face especially if I'm going for a lighter makeup application so I like cannot put this concealer pin down um, and I see why she loves it. For powder I just went in with a very light amount of the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in the shade medium. One of her favorite powders that she mentioned is from Makeup Forever and I'll insert a picture of it. I don't have that powder and based on the description of that powder, it didn't seem like a powder that I really wanted. So I didn't go out and buy it, but she loves powders that do not mattify the face too much, um, but that will allow for shine and radiance to come through. And this powder definitely does that. So that's why I chose to use this powder and I took the lightest amount just to set my T-zone area. I didn't set the perimeter of my face just the T-zone. Y'all know how much I love that powder. 
Moving on to highlights. So Meghan Markle loves her a beautiful glow, radiant glow, nothing too beaming, nothing too much. If you've noticed any of her pictures, if she's going to add any drama, it's going to be to the eyes, but the rest of her face is just going to be very fresh. So one of her favorite highlighters is the RMS Living Luminizer. So I had been really interested in this product for a while, but they only had a couple of shades and when I tried them, they were just too fair for my complexion. So I found this little quad at Sephora and I purchased this quad, y'all, a while ago. Like I can't remember when I purchased this. Um, and so I'll do quick swatches of all the shades so you can see what they look like. So here are swatches of all the shades in the quad. And so this particular shade is called Buriti Bronze. Then this next shade we have Champagne Rosé, and this is very emollient. Um, feels almost like it has, almost like Vaseline a little bit, not nearly as thick, but that's just, just to give you an idea of the consistency. It's definitely more, um, it definitely has more slip than this bronze shade right here. This is Living Luminizer, and then this last shade is Magic Luminizer. This shade right here literally is basically almost clear. You see a tinge of color but it is very, very light. I put on Living Luminizer, which is this shade right here. That is a shade that Meghan Markle really enjoys. And I place that just right along here across the cheeks and then a little bit across the T-zone area just to add a little bit of radiance, not too much, not too much, but just to give us more of kind of that lit from within look. And I think it turned out really, really nicely. It's definitely one of those products where if you like more subtle highlighters, that this is a highlighter that you would enjoy. I do think you can obviously build it up based on the arm swatch that you saw, but it's it's definitely formulated to be more of like a subtle type of highlight. Moving on to blush. So her favorite, one of her favorite blushes is NARS Orgasm. And so I got a mini size of that because I had one, I don't even know what I did with it. I guess I decluttered it, I don't know. And I don't know why, I love orgasm. That's like, that was my first high-end blush. So I do have some nostalgia with it, but I ended up just applying that on the cheeks. And I noticed that, of course, this blush color is definitely a beautiful pinky, peachy gold type of blush. And I noticed that my cheeks, in my opinion, looked a little too goldish, like the hint of gold was coming off a little too much. And I felt like with the blush that she had, it definitely looked more like, um, almost like a baby pinky flush to the cheeks. So I went in with the LYS blush called Kindness. And I felt like this was a better representation of the look that she had. And so I applied it on over top of the NARS blush and just kind of blended it into the skin. And I, I think this flush is more representative of the flush that she had on her cheeks. I love the LYS blushes. Um, the brand was so kind and gifted me the other three blushes that I didn't have. So this particular blush is one of the ones that they gifted to me, but I love the formula. So I was like, thank you, because I was gonna buy them anyway. But this is just a beautiful shade. And like I said, it gives a beautiful flush to the cheeks. You can definitely build up this pigmentation if you want it to, or you can apply it more sheer onto the skin, however you like it, but it's, oh, the formula is impeccable. Moving on to eyes. So this was, if I could say the <laughs> drama on the face, the eyes were the center focus of her entire look. I looked up some articles to see if we had a little scoop as to what she used. And for what I could find, there was no definitive details on this is the eyeshadow that she used or so forth. But I did find one article that said the eyeshadow did look like a bronzy brown and she used a lot of eyeliner and then mascara. So I decided to use my Tom Ford quad in First Frost. So this is the quad that I used. And I felt like these two colors were quite similar or it would at least give me the look that she had going with the eyes. So I first went in with this particular shade right here because it, it is a bronzy brown. You have some shimmer to it, but it's not overly shimmery to where it looks, you know, like I just put a ton of shimmer on my eyes. So that's what the color looks like swatched on my arm. And I just use that to blend out in the outer area of the eye. 
Then I went in with this shade right here because her inner corner um, looked like there was some shimmer. It was very subtle. Like I kept looking like, is there shimmer or is it matte? And I felt like it was just a little, just a little hint of a little shimmer. So I went in with this lighter shade to give me that hint of shimmer. And I think we pulled it off. I think I have a little more shimmer than she did, but I feel like the eye look looks similar. We're in the same family potentially based on what she had. I do know that one of her favorite eyeliners is by MAC and it is in the shade Teddy. This is the eye call in Teddy. So what I did was for the lower lash line, I took, I took this shade right here and a very small detailer brush and I lined the lower lash line. Then I took this same shade right here to apply toward the inner corner of the eye. There was no inner corner highlight, no beaming highlight, but I just applied it there just to add some symmetry to the top and the lower lash line. Then I took the eye coal in Teddy and I used that to really emphasize and start to smoke out the lower lash line and the upper lash line because it is very apparent that her eyes are definitely smoky. And then to add just a little bit more drama because if you look at her eye look, it definitely is a deeper brown color, maybe even like a brown black. So I went in with my eye coal from Wayne Goss in the black shade called Obsidian. And I just put a little bit along the lower lash line and just a very small amount on the outer area of the upper lid and blend it both together to get this look. So obviously not using the same shades that she did, but I feel like there is drama on the eyes. And if you were looking at me, the emphasis is gonna to go to my eyes versus the rest of my face. And that's how I felt when I looked at her. As soon as the camera was on her, I immediately was drawn into her eyes because of the drama that was there. One of her favorite mascaras is going to be by Maybelline actually. So one of her previous makeup artists, Lydia Sellers, I think, Lydia Sellers, she said that Meghan Markle put her onto this particular mascara. And from the first time she tried it on her, she was like, this is staying in my makeup artist kit. So this is the Maybelline Last Sensational Luscious Mascara. And I have it in the shade Very Black. So I applied first my lash primer because I always apply my lash primer if I'm not going to be using lashes. So this is from Lancome. This is the, their Seals Booster XL lash primer. So I put that on first just to add more volume and length. And then I went in with this mascara and I added three coats. And I think that this is actually a really decent mascara. I liked how it lengthened my lashes. And I felt like for a mascara, we have some a, a little bit of drama. Um, personally, I wanna throw me on some lashes, but it doesn't look like she's wearing lashes. And once again, like I said earlier, Anytime you've seen Meghan Markle, her looks are going to be definitely more subtle than dramatic. So I feel like if she didn't use this mascara, she probably used a mascara. If she did have on lashes, they were probably so minuscule that it didn't look like she had on lashes. I don't think she was wearing any blush. I kept looking at her face and I, I just didn't see any. And if she was, it was so subtle. So I did not apply any blush with this particular look. So the last thing I went in with were lips. So she had on, y'all know I love me a pinky nude, and that pink color was stunning. I'm still like waiting for someone to tell us what that pink shade was. However, I do know one of her favorite lipsticks is going to be from Charlotte Tilbury, Cheryl, and she loves the shade Very Victoria. And Very Victoria is more of like a nude taupe type of shade. So I have this mini lipstick in Very Victoria. And that's what the shade looks like. And it is stunning on the lips. I love it, especially if I'm wearing more like cool toned look or I'm wearing like a mauve type of look. Very Victoria is great for it. But it did not look like she was wearing Very Victoria in the interview. The closest combination that I could come up with with the products that I had was the Wayne Goss lipstick in the shade Magnolia. And I love Wayne Goss lipsticks, they're very creamy. It is a beautiful satin formula and it's moisturizing to the lips. And then I went in with the Wayne Goss lip gloss in Petunia and topped it because her lips did not look matte. It looks like she had some type of shine to her lips. And guys, I did my hair, put it in a nice little bun. We're not gonna look at the back cause it's not cute. 
took down a couple of tendrils, tried to recreate the look as best as I could, did not have a dress like her, so I just threw on my little v-neck shirt. And this is my recreation. Tell me what you guys think. I personally enjoy this type of look for like a very, very simple glam. Nothing too much. Kind of looks like I didn't try, but I tried a little bit. Um, and I think it's gorgeous. I think all of her looks are very effortless and flawless and she has the skin for it. So she can do it. But I think this type of look could be recreated for anybody and any type of makeup preferences that you like. So for instance, if you do like a fuller coverage foundation, you could still use your fuller coverage foundation, but just maybe go a little lighter on the blush and the bronzer and keep the emphasis of the look on the eyes and that's it. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. I had fun creating this look and I'm gonna take myself to Sephora now. Let me know your thoughts down below on the look. Let me know your thoughts on the products that I use. If you know any other Meghan Markle favorites in terms of makeup, leave them down in the comment section below. I probably know all of them. But hey, you might know something I don't know. And if you've made it to this point in the video and you have still yet to subscribe to my channel, I highly suggest that you do because we'd love to have you and we'd love for you to be a part of the Glam Girl Squad. And guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye guys.